Class, today we're going to be talking about continuing on body parts, but also on sin structure and using uh, verbs and uh, possessive pronouns and uh, you know, articles related uh, to our body that you can't just use any article. So I gave you three that are common. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know. Connie, was, uh, Sister Barbara, should I hear me now? Yeah, I, can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, oh right. no, I just, just scratching my neck. Mosquito bite. Ah. Does anybody, does anybody know how to say, can you hear me? Mm. Well, no. Nah. <laughs> Let me find that somewhere. I've got it written down. I'm looking in the in the cheat book. Ah, can you hear me? Nah, -uh is here, correct? Or no? I don't know. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. To hear. To hear, brother. Can you hear me? I didn't hear you. We not on. We not on, Maji. That's I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Eagle, you're garbled now. Can you hear me? I think he's trying to get us to say that phrase <laughs> or the question. I'm trying. You, here is not uh You, okay, we, okay, so we need a verb, can. We're getting somewhere. Hold on. By the time I get this, can. Ukihi. That's a verb, right? Here is a verb, and that is not uh and then um, you, I don't even know what you is, people. I don't even know. Um, not uh, ukihi. Uki, uki. <laughs> Best guess. Not uh, not uh, ukihi. <laughs> don't be laughing. Don't be laughing at me. <laughs> You're close. Am I? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I listen. When you when you say. When you say, can you hear me, it's two verbs, but on the first mm -hmm. verb, it has a prefix, which is in the left side of it when you're looking at it, in front of it. It's on the, nah uh -uh. nah uh And then the second verb is ukihi, with a prefix, in, I mean a suffix, which is a question, a question marker. And so you would say, on the nah uh Oh, actually, you got to conjugate it. Can you hear me? On the na, on the na, uh, uh, on the na. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, Chandler. Yes, I can. <laughs> Scott said, yes, I can. <laughs> we have a listener. We have a listener. <laughs> He's on that party line channel. I don't know, not that oh. Let's say, oh, on the we got the uh, uh. Yeah, but you forgot to you said you said uh, the, that's just the front part of you forgot the nah uh uh the nah uh we oh, yeah. here. <laughs> forgot my main verb. 
Not is the most uh, important the part. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Complete sentence in Ponka. Nisa, we on that. Oh, Nia, I mean. Verb, possessive pronoun, noun. I'm just giving you an idea how to do it. Have a lot of, I need to get those write them down. What is that first word? My picture's oh. over it. I X A. What are you talking about on that whiteboard? It's Nika. N I. Yes, Nika. N I. Where? Your screen's over. Turn your phone upright. It work. That works. Well, that is this. Okay. I know. Go on. Mula, Dada. Hello, everybody. Sorry, I'm late. You're fine, sister. Uh, Joe, look to your uh, messenger. We're talking about body parts from last night, as well as we got a few uh, possessive pronouns that we're going to use. And then we have a few uh, <clears throat> verbs uh -huh. and articles that we're going to also be using. And I'm going to write a few more. What the? What the? 
<clears throat> I was just going over these last night in the dictionary. That's crazy. That's cool. I can't find Witada. Witada. I cannot find it. You're not going to find it in a dictionary. This right here, look, this is a possessive okay. pronoun. This is an article that's added together that means it's describing something. Okay, this right okay, here okay. is describing something. When you put that, when you put that possessive <laughs> pronoun together, we mm -hmm. and then the article is on. So it's mine. Okay. We're talking about a stomach. Stomach don't necessarily have to be round or fat, but it's describing that area of your body. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of rounded. Oh. Well, that's just real skinny. I'm sorry, my bad, but yeah. I know about that round. Do you guys understand why I put it like that way? Mm. And that is. Right. No. I don't understand. <laughs> Look, sister, I'm going to show you. We're talking. We thought. Hey. Pronoun. Pronoun. Pronoun, mine. Nisa, we thought on my stomach hurting. Is anyone else having trouble hearing Eagle talk? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm writing? Sort of. I'm trying to dig around and look. I'm having trouble yeah. hearing you. Mine and the article the in different meanings. It's like we talked it's to still, you. Listen, it still means the same thing. All you're doing is describing a part or something but. that you're owning. Yeah. I forgot where to find K, K-E. That's an uh, article in the beginning, in the first 40 pages. Uh, or you can look it up in the book. Yeah, I'm side. in there, but I don't remember. <laughs> I'm in the first 40 pages. I knew it's in here somewhere. <laughs> I am totally up in here. Okay. I got, all I can find are stupid prefixes. I can't okay. find the suffix. Barbara, are you understanding I'm that? When I put that mind. like that, did Wagonza ever teach you that? I understand it, but Wagonza, I don't think we ever got to that detail. The we yeah, Wita I found it. I found it. Okay. What page? Okay, come? listen. I found K. Okay, whenever, um, whenever we talk like this way, this is casual, common, punka. Casual. It's common. It's not like it's a. Uh, how, how you say it? Uh, formal. Not. It's not difficult. Formal. It's, it's formal. normal. Yeah. It, it is formal. It's formal, but it's common. Eagle. What? We got a blue gray puppy. I wanna. You can have it. It's a girl. Yay! She's gonna love me till I. No, she. I, I'm gonna outlive her, and and I'm gonna outlive her and all her great 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 grandchildren. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we talk. We talk. Like two we weeks means we talk. Okay. Means like mine, right? Is mm -hmm. that right? 
Witan is mine. Wee wee. Is that wee wee? And so it is witake means um, it's inanimate. Nisha. I'm so confused. Witake, inanimate but mine. It's like I, I have okay. a thing. Listen. Connie, exist. listen, listen, when you say we talk, hey, we thought there and we thought, of, you know, uh, when it's talking to the body parts, it's not necessarily talking about an a inanimate thing. It's talking about a sing using the singularity or the plurality of it. Okay, like if I say I don't feel good okay. physically, I say zuga, which means body, we thought, they ain't you. I don't feel good. Physically, Google, we thought they eat this. I don't feel good. Something ain't yeah. right with me. And so now, so, now, now, if I say, eat u damaji, eat u damaji, I don't feel good mentally or spiritually. Eat u damaji means I don't feel good mentally or spiritually. You see, when we use these verbs, there are certain things that are used in a certain way, and that's my job is to teach you. And I ain't never seen no other teacher do what I do, and, and it's because it ain't because they didn't know. They just didn't see the importance of it. The importance is everything from the smallest detail to the greatest detail of anything we're talking about. It's to get you to understand and Connie, I'm asking you to take your English mind off. We thought means mine. No matter what class, we thought means mine. We wita means mine plural. Okay. Now, when you add that article K, listen, Connie, look at me. Connie, all you're doing is describing something. I was just it's writing. It's still mine. Okay. It's it, okay. Listen, sis, it's still mine. But you're describing something. Okay. Okay, so when I say my body is hurting, Zuga, my Zuga means body. We thought they mm -hmm. my body plural parts meaning remember cause te in the article is plural. Now but you gotta get that out of your mind right. that okay. what's inanimate, it's standing up, it's in a row, it's a uh, something dead. No, we're using that article for its plurality. We thought, okay, for a singularity. Oh my gosh. We got bad weather coming. Yeah. And so when you say, and when you say, we thought on, Connie, go, uh, Barbara, go ahead and go to the dictionary and find don't and tell me what it means. Just Barbara. <laughs> Before we go any further, I want you guys to understand the the possessive pronoun and the article combined. Used with okay. nouns that describe parts of the human body. Also used with circular round objects, either singular or plural. By article, it, it, he means like the word the or a or an. Okay, so now we say Nika we dava aunt nie aunt means I I heard it. So maybe maybe you cl you climbed over a barbed wire fence and it scratched your stomach, so it's hurt. We're not ah. talking about the scratch or the deal. We're talking <laughs> about we're talking about the pain it caused. And if we're talking about the scratch, we would put that in a sentence and you would know it would be a subject of what we're speaking about. So therefore, it doesn't know, it doesn't matter why your stomach is hurting. You're making a statement that my stomach is hurt. It doesn't tell why it hurts, but it's telling mm -hmm. it is hurt. And whose stomach is it? Mine. 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 I have a question. Mine. Go ahead. Here. You had said nie is her on the outside and udada is her on the inside. So if you said ni ha udata, 
Mudada, would that mean your stomach hurts inside, like you have a belly ache? Yes, it, you, you're exactly right. That's why I put the two. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a couple other ways to say hurt, but those are the two most common. And so, if I say, and just what I just said to Bar, uh, Connie right now, Barbara, is what did I say? She was hurt on the outside because of a, because of a scratch from a what? Fence. You a barbed bar bar fence. fence. Yep. But we're not. But you see. But you already see that I'm talking about something that's external. And you just hit the nail on the head. Now, when her tummy hurts, or she got the belly ache, or she's gassy, you would say, you would say, Nika, we thought of Mu Adada. Mu Adada. My, and you're saying the same thing. My stomach is hurt. Oh, go ahead, let's do it. Go ahead, let's do it. Okay, please. And that last sentence you said, Juga Utate Intehi. What is Intehi? Juga body, Utate my body, Intehi. Okay, right now, we got Intehi right here. I'm, I'm, putting, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and start conjugating stuff just so I could get you to make sentences in that way, okay? So when you say, when you say in taste, you already know the word tasty means difficult or a hardship. When you say in taste, it means I'm having a difficult time. When you got a verb prefix of the I form, it could either be the B T H, the B D slash, I mean, that's one way. It could be the uh, the nozzle A is two. It could be ah, uh, the A itself is I. It could be ink, and it, depending on you use it, it might be, and it could be aunt one. It could be either. It could be fa, ka, apa, agi. These are all different ways to say I form that I'm going to teach you, but we're not on verbs yet to get it. So I'm just giving you a little taste of a verb here, taste of a verb prefix there, because the last time we did, it got people frustrated because you put too much thought into it. Don't think like that, because when you put too much thought in it, the American mind says, this does not make sense, but it does make sense. You just got to think, you got to just close your eyes, talk to God, open my mind, help me. I want this. Help me. When you get your spare time, when you guys are all alone, talk to him. Tell him. And Dr. Ho Wakanda eat with Conga. There, Ka. Kumba. Chabe. God, God, help me. I really want this. It will come. I promise you, it will come. And that's what you have to do. Right. And so. With what limited uh, stuff you got right there, I'm going to finish out writing these because I keep coming up with new ideas. And then, so use what you got. So now let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys feel comfortable now with uh, the, all it means is mine, my or mine. And then you added the article because you're describing how many pieces of the body part of uh, K, already, we already know that's a singular inanimate. Where do you know that Tay is a, a plural inanimate? You know that Don't, you just got read to you, describes a human body or something round or any natural thing on earth, like a mountain, like the land, the sky. Could you all use Don't, Monchila? That means the sky. Majala, the earth. Malika. Long, the land. Tande long, the ground. Pahe tonga long, the mountain. 
Pahena, the hill. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to give you these could all that word don't could be used with every single one of those. Or you could say in edon, the round rock. Without a doubt, that rock is round. There might be some long, skinny ones, it might be some big, elongated, tall ones. But when we say don't, what are we talking about? Barbara just said it. What are we talking about? What kind of rock are we talking about? Round. Yeah, we're talking about a round rock. Round. <laughs> yeah. That's all we're talking about. We're describing it. When you're adding that, you already got that possessive pronoun. We thought is mine. The thought, yours. And then you add that K, K, or Don on it. No matter what you add on it, it still means mine or my. No matter what, it still means mine. But the back end of that, that thing, all it is is doing what? I just told y'all, don't make it hard. It's describing it. That's it's right. Describing it's it. describing something. Yes. Yeah, hey. that's all it's doing is describing something. <laughs> Because remember, we got 12 ways to say the in Ponca. And when you say them different ways, Diane, what are you doing? Clarifying? You got I this, girl. You're describing it. You're describing it. That's all you're doing is describing what you're talking about. But when you translate it, it still just means what? Anybody? The. Yeah. Mine. You see what I'm saying? It's that easy, guys. It's, that's all it is. It's, it still means the, but in our Ponca language, when we describe, we're talking about it in a certain way, we say it with one of these articles, or we combine it with a pronoun, they all just mean mine, but it describes what kind of mine or my, what kind of my. And then when we just use it in an ar uh, article, excuse me, article form, all we're doing is describing the kind of what? Sick. Pain, sickness. That the kind, all you're doing is describing the kind of the. T-H-E. That's it. Yeah, that whatever the it. object it's describing, yeah. Okay. I talked to so many people throughout my lifetime and even, I, I would talk to fluent people that got mad at me because for the simple fact that it was, some Ponkas don't know how to interpret correctly. Oh, they can speak the Ponka language fluently, elegantly, oratorically. I don't even know if that's a word that's made up. Fine. But <laughs> I'm just having a good time. But anyway, but they could not explain why or how to use it in the way you're using English first to say, hey, how do you say the ducks are crossing the road? Translate that. Mm -hmm. Now, if they was just to say that on their own, they wouldn't have no problem saying it's crossing the road. But since you're, you're, you're asking them and you're putting them on the spot, some of them don't like to be put on the spot. They're like, oh, he's testing me. He's testing mm -hmm. me. Oh, he, he must, he's trying to see if I get it wrong. He's going to tell people that's what big thing used to be down here. You know, worried about, well, maybe I'm not saying it right. And he's going to go make fun of me or talk about me. Man, we're on the brink of extinction. We're past all that in our language. So we don't have to make it complicated because, for one, I'm teaching you and giving you all the tools there is so that you can understand it and talk it. And we're taking it step by step to get to that point where you guys feel comfortable. And I didn't put all 12 of them articles down. I put how many down, Diane? Three. That's right. That's right. And also on there, I didn't put all six. I didn't put all the different ways to say uh, possessive pronouns. I only chose to put wita, dita, etai, angutai. Because I just want you to get a taste of how to use them. 
if we was to say our body hurts, how would you say it? You already know how to say my body hurts. Mungita. So, um, Nika, uh, hmm. oh, body, no, oh, no, a stomach. <laughs> You could use the so stomach. Instead of you could Rita, use, you would say? add Onguta. Yeah. I would use Onguta. Ponka, Ponka, we specifically would say Onguta. Or Onguta. Oh, okay. Ani, so Nika, Onguta. On this one, it would change. Best of God. Thank you. Thank you. Nikanguta wanya Nika Anguta Wani I Our stomachs hurt. Nika anguta wan the eye. Nika anguta wan the eye. You see back here that changed that since it got pluralized, it is no longer it wouldn't you might think in your mind it should be wan ni a. That's not the case because it pluralized itself when it became third uh, first person plural. So it killed that E to a what they call a blunt A, adding the I, which pluralizes it to Wan Ni I. Wan Ni I. I want it in the I. Wan Ni I. You guys got it? <laughs> Can you explain to them more about when you, you kill the blunt E and add an A? What did you say, sister? Can you explain more about how when you kill the blunt E to add an A? Like, you just explained that really fast, but I don't know if everybody really gets that. Did you guys want to write this down on this whiteboard or can I erase it? The top one says, my stomach hurts. The bottom one says, our stomachs hurt. Eagle it up on the group. Okay, can I delete it then? I'm good. Yay. I feel like I got something on the screen. Like dust. How the heck I get dust on the screen?
Okay, these are the, these verbs in their in their root form or their, or their common form, whatever you want to call it. Easy. Barbara, this is what you're used to seeing. This is what all Omaha's in general from the past. Uh, I seen some recent work that changed it, like they went back to the the original way it's supposed to be. A lot of Omaha's will say, "Aren't these?" Uh, you guys might not know that it's that's plural. But when you know the language, this right here is a plural indicator, a plural indicator, a plural indicator, a plural indicator. Now you're thinking to yourself, well, aunt could also mean I. Yes, it can. But then this form right here would have to change. This form would have to change here, here, and here. So that's how you know that it's not an I statement without and what I mean by that is because these are left off in Omaha. Not in Ponca, not so. This is in a blunt A. This I automatically, when it pluralizes, is added to everything plural when it comes to an a blunt A, and then even a, any of, and some punkers will tell you any vowel at the end of the verb will add an I. Any vowel. Mm -hmm. Sister Barbara, does that help you? This is the E, 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 but they were changed to this, a blunt A. It's called a blunt A. <clears throat> we're not going to get into all that uh, uh, English grammar on that. Don't make it complicated. You're just, when it pluralizes, you know that these E's right here change to this. Okay, do you guys understand? Yeah, that's that's more clear. That's what I was looking to have explained. That these a becomes these oh, i, ni a becomes ni i. That's dombe, right. Dombe becomes dombai. Yeah. Does that help other people too? Yeah. Yeah, that helps. That's why we have to that's pause. That's seriously okay to pause. Thank you. Okay. You guys got 10 minutes to use the bathroom or you guys got 10 minutes to do sentences? And let me, I'm going to shoot these over there real quick.
Are you hurting? I'm gonna send it to our what's it called? Our chat. Go. What Play. are you sending? What did I miss? Yeah. Okay. What's that? Whoa. I sent it to the class. I'm going to go ahead.